Right, good evening everyone. So uh, we're in the house today because uh, fundamentally it's still cold outside and um, my shed has suddenly gained all of the rugby club's um, kit so <laughs> there's no space in there for me. So I have not been doing videos uh, for quite a while now. I did a couple of little ones um, in response to other people's uh, um, uh, requests uh, and my sort of 100 subscriber one but I have to be honest other things just got in the way so what we're going to do today we're going to have a look at not the battleships but the monitor lever that sits within the battleships so a number of people have um, shown these before this one on the other hand as you part turn the key you will see, hopefully in there, where is it? If we get the light in just the right place, there we are. The right place so it's not blocking, there's the lever. You see that monitor lever, that little lever that comes across the front there, down at the bottom. And it is in there specifically for one thing. So, what is that reason? It exists both in the... Um, both in the Chub battleship, um, it also um, exists in uh, some variants of the cruiser, I think. Why is it there? Well, it's there, according to the patent, and the patent is number 445444. They were so close to getting the whole run of fours there, but um, no, a little bit late in the day. So, um, 445444 is a British patent by Chubb and Sons Lock and Safe Company and a chap called Percy William Start. Um, so, interestingly, uh, I think you'll probably find that, that Percy William Start was the actual designer of it and obviously he probably worked for Chubb at the time. And the invention is there to, in the words of the patent, Obviate, which means stop, the, <laughs> I had to look that one up, the possibility of locks due to wear of the key or deliberate tampering of the key or with the bolt being left in a position that while apparently locked is possible for the bolt to be shot back with a suitable instrument. Now what the concern was, was that on a key most of you will know, if I get myself in focus, you have two fundamental parts. You've got the bitting over here, and the bitting obviously engages with the levers and allows the bolt then to move. You also have this bit at the end here, which actually drives the bolt across. Now, as those of you who pick lever locks will know, if you don't quite have this to the right length, you can pull the bolt almost all the way unlocked or locked, but actually it's just a couple of millimetres short and the key will carry on turning round. This happens quite a bit with um, the Belfry's uh, 67s. Um, if you don't quite get the uh, don't quite get the um, turning tool the right length, and they're, they're a slightly odd length for some reason. If you don't get them quite the right length, you can uh, you can pick them, and you can pick them to the point that the turning tool turns all the way around, but the bolt actually hasn't been thrown all the way open. In this case, what they're worried about is this little tip on the end here being slightly too short, and therefore when you lock the lock, it doesn't actually lock fully. What that means is you could reach inside with a pick wire, and literally just pull the bolt back again and you'd unlock the lock. Now obviously that could happen because of wear and tear on a key or if you manage to get your hands on someone's keys and instead of having the time to maybe impression them or take a copy of them or anything else if you just shaved off with a file half a mil, maybe a mil off the end you could drop that key back with them and they could be locking and unlocking their door, not knowing that they have done, uh, they haven't actually fully 
driven the bolt across. So the patent is actually designed around fundamentally cabinet locks or, or probably door locks. Um, although I think cabinet locks, to be honest, from, from, from the design. So there are two uh, actual designs within the um, patent. One is for what they say are open levers. And these are levers, like in the, in the Chubb battleship here, that um, are um, the normal shaped lever. Uh, uh, so they're, they're open, you just lift them from the bottom and they, they, uh, they lift up. Um, and the key moves past them. They also have a design for closed lever uh, locks. Now these are levers which are fundamentally you put the key inside the center of the lever rather than underneath it and you turn the key and the key goes all the way around the inside of the lever. So they're designed for both and they had a design for horizontal locks and vertical locks um, and they were slightly different. So we'll have a quick look at both of these. So the first one is the horizontal lock. And what you can see here is the, um, is the lock itself in the open position. <coughs> you can see the lever in, uh, in red, uh, the monitor lever in red. You can see the uh, bolt in yellow and you can see the key and the keyhole in green. And as you put the key in and you turn the key to the left, so um, anti-clockwise, the key will engage with the, um, the monitor lever at the same time as engaging with the bolt. And it will lift the monitor lever up and put the lever itself, the actual arm, engaged across the keyhole. Now, what does that mean? So it will end up looking a bit like this. Now, if you have a look at the bolt itself, it hasn't fully thrown across. And what that means is that the monitor lever can't drop down back into its original place. And so the arm itself is blocking the keyhole, which means you can't take the key out. If the bolt hasn't been fully thrown across, the key can't be removed. And that will tell you that you haven't fully locked the lock. So if we have a quick look at the um, vertical one, it's a slightly interesting uh, design, but what happens is that the, um, <clears throat> the key itself goes into the center of the lever, which you can see there, and then rotates around and as the uh, monitor lever is engaged, it blocks not the keyhole itself, but the rotation of the key. And so the key will stop at that point. Yep, so it blocks the rotation of the key at about the nine o'clock position in this in this uh, design here so it doesn't actually block the key hole itself but it stops the key from rotating in a very similar in a very similar way so the monitor lever isn't there as a picking um, deterrent although obviously it will it will cause mayhem with picking it does cause mayhem it gets in the way it's an awkward thing to try and get your picks passed and 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 just generally causes a causes pickers a pain in the backside but it's actually there to deal with a different problem relating to lever locks which is the um, wear and tear or potential deliberate reduction in the bolt throwing part of the key uh, causing a lock not to be fully engaged even when the key is used correctly um, and therefore leaving the key open to being unpicked very, very simply by the insertion of a, uh, uh, a pick wire and um, moving the bolt. So um, <clears throat> hopefully that's of interest to people. Um, that was patent 445, 444 <laughs> um, by Chubb.
and um, although it was obviously designed within a um, uh, within the patent for um, cabinet locks, I would I would suggest is probably the what the design looks like. Um, the only place I've ever come across them is in the Chubb battleship and the Chubb cruiser, both both of which are are padlocks. Uh, so if anyone's come across any um, any monitor levers in cabinet locks or door locks that are designed by Chubb, uh, I'd be fascinated to hear about it. So, that's everything from me. Good night. Nostar.